I was in a business meeting and got a page on the, the pagers we used to carry. It was my sergeant major, so obviously returned the call. He wanted me to make sure I was aware of the events uh, that were taking place. Um, and then kind of he laid out the series of next steps for me and, and what would uh, be expected potentially. Unfortunately for me, my contribution and my next steps wouldn't really unfold uh, for several months after that day. I can remember going home that day and um, watching the TV and this deep sense of helplessness. And for several hours there, I just remember being stuck there feeling helpless, uh, feeling like there was something more that I could do. And I also recall that in the days and months to follow that the country clearly used uh, this opportunity to come together uh, to be there for each other regardless of the, the ask or the situation. We all stepped up and were there to help each other. And to watch um, everybody around us, it was just unbelievable. The prayers and the amount of support that we wished we could give. Some people were flying out there to help. Um, there were so there was just so much going on for, for, for quite a long time. I knew that day that uh, my Marine Corps experience would be vastly different than what I thought it would have been leading up to that point. Um, and at that point, it was the very least I can do for the people who ran into that building and for uh, all the people who lost their lives that day. To all of the first responders out there, whether you were present there or not, thank you for the selfless sacrifice and service that you provide to all of our communities and our country. Um, we know it's not just you that serve, but it's your families that serve and sacrifice right alongside with you. So thank you for all that you do. It does not go unnoticed and we will certainly never forget that day.